Shit. The entire hem was covered in blood. It was scary to look at. I should have informed the police. She just gave birth? So she's bleeding. I've already called the police. They'll come tell them everything. I only heard the noise of a car. At two in the morning, I went out and she was lying on the porch, and there was no one else. She's dead, right? Damn you, Petrovna. She's young and strong. Girl, hey! Go away. I won't give it to you. What's your name? Do you remember? I'm Elisa Denisovna. What's your name? Look at me. Her cranial and labor. How do you write it down? I have no idea. Yes, but where is her child? Shit, why are you here? Sonia, come here. Yes. Look at this baby. Oh my god. A kind soul. The first episode. A year ago. Good morning. When is it here? Oh. Excuse me, student Kulik. Did you write the answers? Yes. I'm listening. Wait in the hallway, please. Okay, good. The human circulatory system. One of the most important. No wonder ancient people compared blood to living water. Imagine walking into a classroom and seeing this picture. Arbiriak sleeping like a hamster, and Layubaka, a kind soul, standing there guarding him. Well, that's great. Luba, I am sure you will become a very good doctor. Thank you, Arseny Pavlovich. Tell me, I would like to go to your summer internship. You're on duty at the nursing home, right? You don't get enough sleep here. A nursing home is not an easy place. Old people need more attention than children. And I'll manage, you'll see. Okay, then we'll see. Thank you. Call the next one. Mom, meet the honors student. I was transferred to the next year. Congratulations. Are you crying, Mom? What happened? Did they fire you? No. What about your practice? Arseny Pavlovich took me to his office. And do you want to clean up after the old people? What's wrong with that? You don't need a medical degree to take care of them. Just look at me. Mom, you are a housekeeper in a decent house. Yes, and a doctor is a respected person, although you'll probably need the ability to care for the sick soon. Mom, you're so young, you hear me? Are you really in pain? What? Here you go. What about reading to a blind person? Don't fake it. Reading trains the brain. By the way, you promised to help me with the phone? I need to write a letter to my grandson. Go ahead. And before, they only beat my face. What a glorious nurse we have now. It's a pity to die. And no one will let you. Albert Albertovic, you will still be running for me.
Thank you. Here, Arseny Pavlovich, T. Stronger. Thank you. It's getting late. They're probably waiting for you at home. My mom works in a country house and comes only on weekends. I'll help you, and you get some sleep. You know, I'm not expected at home either, well. Uh, I won't be long, half an hour, I'm going to lie down. And if you need me, just wake me up. Okay. All right. Don't worry, I'm fine. Really, my daughter is here. Mom, what is this? It was, at work, it's a small emergency, nothing to worry about. Is it a fracture? Does it hurt a lot? What did the doctor say? A crack, and a small sprain, it's nothing. And how did this happen? I stumbled, it happens. Did you stumble? What's going on with you lately? I just want to rest, gain strength and return to work. To work with one arm? You're crazy. I'm not letting you go anywhere. I'm begging you, please don't torture me. So, now we're going for a walk for an hour, then I have to take the people out of Ward 10, and I changed Parkamenko's dosage there. Pay attention. Okay. You and the doctor are a great couple. No, he is my teacher. He's a great doctor, too. My eye is full. So, Labaka, how are we preparing the wedding rings? I'm a jeweler, by the way, so if you need anything, feel free to ask me. Here, it's very comfortable. It's perfect for intermittent sleep. For standby, here you go. Thank you. Oh, whose statement is this? It's my mom's. She injured her arm. Can I see it? What do you think? Can we work with this? I don't see anything serious here. In general, if you don't push yourself too hard, you can work. Although, of course, it's better to stay at home. I really don't want her to go there. My mom cries all the time because of this work. She gets sick a lot. I went into medicine because of this, for her sake. Are you the only one in her life? Aha, yes, she raised me by herself and now I'm taking care of her and she wants to go to work with this cast. She's afraid of losing her job. Then help your mom. Really, can I? I won't give up my practice. I'll combine it. We'll figure it out. Here you go. Thank you. Hello. Hi. So, Mom, you can do whatever you want, but I'm going with you. Are you with me? Did you think I was going to let you go alone? Don't worry about the practice. I have my medical book. Tell them my daughter will help until the cast is removed. I don't even know if they'll let me. You have medical experience, though. What am I talking about? Dmitry Petrovich, good afternoon. Please tell me, can my daughter help me for the time being? Yes, and one more thing, Dmitry Petrovich is a kind and very good man, although he is a big boss, but his wife, Irina, will not put a price on herself, so don't catch her I again, got it. Yes. Hello. This is Luba, my daughter, uh, as an assistant. Yes, yes, hello, my wife knows. This face is familiar. Could I have seen him somewhere before? No. He, maybe he looks like an artist. Damn it, Igor, watch your step. I watch, and you are driving normally. Shall I carry you in my arms? 
Are you going to carry it or what? That's how much you pay. Has dad's stash run out? Fuck you. Are they the owner's sons? Ihor is the eldest. He was in an accident. He and Dima are like cats and dogs. Hello, Dmitri Petrovich warned me about the assistant. Why are you standing there? Come in. We won't give you a separate room. Don't wait. Luba will be in my, in the guest room, so to speak. Basically, it's a room for servants. What is your name? Luba. And you are Irina Antonovna. But please use the patronymic for pensioners. Mom, I'm not going to help this hysterical child anymore. Let his father hire a nanny. Or has he already? Basically, it's a household assistant. Very good, because I already have a lot of dust in my room. Dima, stop it. Yes, indeed, a lot of them. Luba is a doctor. She can help Ihor. Yes, we were just taking a course in. Yes, without amateurism. First of all, high quality cleaning everywhere. Mom. Why don't the brothers get along? They are just very different. I'll help you, come on, come on. Igor. He's from Dmitri Petrovich's first marriage. He is serious. He takes after his father. He writes computer programs. What about Dima? And this is an eternal student. He jumps from institute to institute, like a grasshopper. I see, and Irina is in charge of everything here, is she, the hostess? Good afternoon, I'm Uba, Nadia's daughter. I'll be cleaning instead. Uh, I'm a doctor and we're in the hospital now, rehabilitating after severe injuries. Did they teach you to go through other people's papers there? I'm sorry, I'm using one eye in addition to the crack. You also have a displacement there, which causes terrible pain. That's it, don't talk, too many words. Is there anything I can do to help? Yes, you can. Go out and close the door. You don't need to clean it. Mom, you and Ihor have the same date in your discharge summary. Is there a connection? Is the fish ready for Dmitri Petrovich? Yes, almost. It's in the oven. You can serve. He's already here. Okay, good. So, a doctor, a nanny, now we have a cook. I also know how to sew on a machine. You're just great. Dinner will be ready soon. Is there some kind of dietary disgust for dinner? Dietary only for Dmitri Petrovich. Everything else is regular. Maybe I want something unusual. Your mom is strict. I'm just afraid of her. And I'm yours. So, fellow misfortune. Tell me, are you an excellent student? Something like that. And you? I haven't figured out what I want to be yet. Oh, come on. Which way do you want to go? Excellent student. I help my mom. Did you in us a good soul? Yes, good.
your dinner, you need protein now to rebuild your muscles and bone tissue. If you give me the scans for the day, I can consult with my teacher. He will help me choose the right exercises to get you back on your feet. Are you always this talkative? It's a habit. I'm currently doing an internship at a nursing home, and old people don't need bread, they just need to talk. I've seen people who got up early after injuries, and people who didn't get up at all. Okay, okay, I get it. You brought food. Thank you. You can go. Yes. And you can take the pictures, too. Hi, P. How are you? Better than anyone else, only no one is jealous. Why is that? Listen, Dad, I can't live here anymore. I have to move out, and there will be no more scandals and awkward silence, which is even worse. I hear, as long as I'm alive, your home is here. That's a forbidden technique, Dad. Forbidden, not forbidden. You You are my help, my support. Thank God, at least one son grew up normal, huh? Dad, I'm sorry for the breakdown, for the accident. Okay. Is something wrong? No, it's okay. Thank you. I just don't feel like it. You can serve dessert? Okay. Honey, half the summer is over. It's time to think about where Dima should go to school in the fall. You've already dropped out of three institutes. Why didn't you like Polytechnic? I told you, I'm not a techie. In short, do what you want, go where you want. I won't give you any more money. It's starting. And if I don't join, what will you order me to do? Go to the army or work? What's the point of looking for a job without a diploma? You will have a diploma. You will not have a diploma. You will not work anyway. Your hands are growing out of your ass. Yes, I am a crooked fool. But Ihor is a good boy, the smartest. Although he was not in the army. So he can do anything. Dima, really? He's right, isn't he? You always give him everything. Shut up. Unlike you. He studied all the time. Instead of talking normally, you keep humiliating him, of course. He's protesting. Protest? He's been protesting his whole life. If you treated both sons equally, everything would be different. Thank you for dinner. Luba? Yes. Serve the fish. I'm really hungry. Now I sleep all the time. It's the pillow's fault. How do you like working there? A madhouse. Everyone is at war with each other. Aha, uh -huh. has mom feeling? She is exhausted, but she does not want to leave. Aha, uh -huh, because of the money. No, I think it's because of the owner. I think she likes him very much. And I also wanted to ask your advice about. Here is a statement and a picture. 
the owner's son had an accident. Okay, I'll look at it later and tell you what exercises to do. You know how hard it is for him. It's very hard to cope with this. I understand. Don't worry. You can't do it yourself. Come on, let me help you. Come on, come on, come on. Are you going to leave me alone? I'll prove it and get off your back, yeah. Will you take me to my room? And you two walking in crackly will only make it worse. The correct position of the legs and body is very important. Yes, yes. And he's allowed to hug you, right? Listen, go back where you were going. Igor is very nervous. You wouldn't know it from his looks, would you? And recently he got so mad that he ran his motorcycle into a pole. Have you said everything? Feel better. Everyone who is not too lazy is running around with it. Never mind, come on. By yourself. Maybe you'll think about washing me again. Mom, what happened? Did someone hurt you? Um, Mom. You see, what happened to Igor? It was my fault. Remember when you asked why we had the same date on his discharge papers? Yes. That day Dima insulted me. Ihor stood up for me, and they started fighting, and Ihor doesn't like quarrels very much. He... He ran out of the house, got on his motorcycle, I was scared for him, ran after him, and the gate was closing. I was hit and screamed, he heard, turned around, and he fell. The cast is off. The x-ray was taken, everything is fine. That's great. I'm sorry I didn't go with you. What are you? And how are you? How's the aneurysm? You know, I have already accepted that I live with a bomb in my head. All that remains is to wait for it to. Have you been charged with something new? Yes. And they also said, Dmitry Petrovich, please solve all your cases. Just in case. Oh. Close the door. Come on. Come on and don't look at me like that. It's all mine. If my dad has deprived me of maintenance, then I have to provide for myself somehow. What do you think? Dima? Take what you want and go. We'll assume that I gave it to you. You're not going to report this to Dmitry Petrovich. We will deal with our son ourselves. I advise you to mind your own business. Luba won't come, don't worry. She's on duty until tomorrow. Does it hurt? You know, Nadia, I don't know where a person's soul is. My soul hurt. It hurts because I lived the wrong way. And with the wrong person. I 
I'm married to Rene. She was already waiting for Dima. I didn't get a divorce, still a family. And I'm in the public eye. I had this career. I'm sorry. No way. We're guilty together. But if you want... If you want... I'll go and tell everyone about us. I don't know how much longer I have here. But I want to live these last days with you. No. It's enough for me to see you every day. Dima. I won't live without you. Everything. That's it. That's it. That's it. Let's not talk about this anymore. That's all I'm asking you. I don't want to. I'm begging you. Otherwise, I'm going to. I'm going to scream. I don't want to. I'm sorry. Are you sure you remembered the name correctly? It's just that this drug is prescribed for brain aneurysms. An aneurysm. It seems to be operated on. Not all of them. It's a drug to strengthen blood vessels, apparently. It's inoperable and doctors are ensuring that the vessel doesn't burst. Oh, you mean he could die at any moment and everyone knows about it. God, now I understand why mom cries all the time. I hope you like them. If, if you want, you can give it to your mom as a support. Honey, I'm here. I can't choose a day to go out together. Together? Yes, I promised to show you the Museum of Doctors. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have come at a bad time. No, I'm thinking about it too. About what? If someone sees us, one of our classmates or the administration, we will have problems. They will say it's unethical with your student. Yeah, you know, you're probably right. I'm here now. Dmitry Petrovich, let me ask you, is there any way I can earn money in this house? You pay the maids, maybe I'll get something. I can sweep the floor. I can pull weeds. I can stand on the ears. Just say the word. You shouldn't do that to him. He shouldn't be nervous. You never know when an aneurysm might burst. What are you talking about? My father's diagnosis. I thought you knew. Those pills. What diagnosis? What aneurysm? Mom, what is she talking about? Is it true? Dimitri, go inside. I'll talk to you later. I asked you not to interfere in our affairs. I thought. I wonder what you were thinking. Here, exercises for the back a specialist picked up. Oh, if you have any questions, I'll tell you what to do and how to do it. The only thing that is not clear yet is, are you really that good? Or do you need something specific from me? What's the trick? Nothing, I just wanted to help. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. It's just that people like you are rare. You should be thinking about love about guys, and you're helping old cripples. 
isn't a time for you to think about love. I am a godsend for any psychoanalyst. Early loss of my mother, hateful stepmother, a lifelong trauma. In general, there will be big problems with starting a family. I see. Are you upset? I hope not because of me. No. Because of his long tongue, I thought that Dima knew about his father, but he didn't know, and I violated medical confidentiality. Are you talking about your father's illness or something? What kind of secret is that? It's just that my father doesn't like to discuss it with anyone. And Dima was probably kept safe so as not to traumatize him. It's even good that he found out. Maybe he will become a normal person. What's wrong with you? Are you drunk? What's the occasion? No, no, I gave him a sedative. It was just a reaction. Did something happen? Just problems with my studies. <clears throat> I have two. Prepare for the Institute not to take pills for your mother, son, oh. Dmitry Petrovich, hold on, hold on. He was prescribed medicine. Where are they? In the room? I'm calling an ambulance. Dima, go away, your father needs to rest. Do you hear me? Mom, where's the medicine? Go, go, you go too. You're just getting in everyone's way. Aha. Uh -huh. Take a sedative, I'll be right back. Yes, Dmitry Petrovich, you breathe deeply. One, two. Three inhalations, exhalation. Should I call your doctor? No need to call anyone. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, I can give you injections as well. Don't worry, I have a light hand. If you want, I can stay in the house. I'm not on duty today. Good. How much you look like your mother? You just rest. If you need anything, call me. I'll be around. I gave Dmitry Petrovich an injection. He's feeling better. I can stay overnight. Take a shift. I will still be with him. And if he needs me, I will call you. Father is going to die, isn't he? He is feeling better now. Do you hear me? Terrible. I was always nothing to my father. He didn't even tell me about the disease. He just wanted to keep you safe. Come on, you'll get some sleep tomorrow. It won't be as bad as it seems now. Come on. I've been trying to earn his attention since I was a kid, as long as I can remember. Aha. Uh -huh. Praise. But there was a gore. A smart guy and a talent. My father spent all his energy on him. Of course, Igor had no mother and I had no father. He didn't even notice me. You have a father, and he really needs your support right now. My father is so proud of Igor, and I'm his failure. If he had just once said he believed in me, I would have moved mountains, and now. What do I do now? You need to go to him and tell that you love him very much. Do you hear me? Amimham. 
Lie down, that's it. Wait a minute, wait, but how am I going to go to him if my father is already pissed off by the way I look? You saw it yourself. Your father loves you, and it is very clear. People just show their love in different ways. You know, I've been afraid of this since childhood. I was five years old then, my parents were fighting. My father leaves and my mother screams, grabs him, and I was so scared that he would leave now and never come back. I often dreamed about it later, how I was holding him and not letting go. Lie down, lie down. Mem, please don't go, please stay with me until I fall asleep. I was doing everything wrong then. I was beating him with my fist to keep him from leaving. I still do. Mem Dima, let go, let go, let go, ah. Quiet, you'll wake everyone up. Ah. Dima, let go, let go, ah. You helped me out yesterday. I decided to return the favor, friendly mutual assistance. No offense, right? What are you doing in Dima's room? Your son, he he I. In general, we were hiring a nurse for a patient. And you jumped into someone else's bed. I wanted to help him, he was very sick, and he misunderstood everything, I didn't mean to. Just don't play the victim here, I don't even want to hear anything. He forced me. Don't you dare even think about it, do you understand? You want to kill Dmitri Petrovich, fuck off bitch. Luba, Luba, wait. What happened? I won't come here again. Luba, what happened? I'm going to the police. Dima, he, me. No? No. If Dmitri Petrovich finds out, it will kill him, please. Is another man's uncle more important to you than your daughter? He is not a stranger. I have loved him all my life, do you understand? I'll get down on my knees, please, not the police, please. I'm on duty, mom. Do you know where Alibaka went? Luba, is everything okay? Is everyone alive? Yes. Will you be able to work? Let me go away for a few hours. 
I need to fill out an application. Of course, do you want a ride? I'd rather drive it. No need, I've changed my mind. Iro, we need to talk. I'm in a hurry. You make it. Sit down, please. Uh, oh, what? Luba doesn't work for us anymore? She quit her job. Besides, a domestic worker is capable of working alone. Um, why do you have a problem with her? Dima, you know I've had a problem with her since the first day. As soon as she came to our house, I put up with her. That's all I've been doing. Ah, uh, I see. And your favorite son, where did he go? To a sanatorium. Let him rest. I'm tired. Did the child overwork you? Ah, uh, I see. And when will he prepare for the institute? Again, you have only claims and claims to him. I have no complaints, it's too late. You should have spoken to him more firmly before, and you've been cutting him some slack all along. Ouch. Son, quiet, quiet, quiet. Are you okay? It's okay. Are you sure? Yes, it's fine. What are you? Quiet, quiet, quiet. Luba will come back and work. Do you want to pay two salaries? Pay it. I'm paying. It's up to me. Igor needs Luba. That's it. Wow. How much everyone needs it. Luba, my mom can't get through there. She called here. I'm sorry. Here you go. Yes, now. Shit, it's dead. Yes, mom. I told you, I'm not coming back to this house, Igor. I'm not promising you anything, okay, I'll think about it. Yes. Are you going back to your second job? Think about it carefully. Are you tired? I don't feel well. Could you find a replacement for me? Of course. Do you want me to drive you? No, I'll do it myself. No.